perish. And I don't know about you guys, but we do not want to perish. And we definitely, our team is definitely doing the exact opposite. We are growing and we are evolving. And so we have a mission. You're a part of an organization that has a mission and a vision, a vision of no, no family left behind and a mission to go out there and build an organization that makes a true impact for other people and families. And so this team, we're going to be growing an additional 400 newly licensed agents this year. We're well on our way. That's going to lead to over 2,000 families helped, right? We don't just recruit and license to recruit and license. We're here to build an organization that makes a massive difference for people and families and businesses out there and changing the face of financial services. And so you're going to see the more and more you're around. Hey, if you're new in the last couple of weeks, last couple of months, the more and more you're around, the more and more you're going to see this happen for yourself and for others. And so we're going to go through some great recognition here today. A big part of uh, a big part of our teams are growing our licensing. And so these people here have purchased their course. They've taken the first step to getting licensed. Let's give it up for Carla, uh, Carla Lu, Lumer, Lumerding. Uh, Shell Jing, Gatewish both, Gate Gatewish both. All right, I'm gonna learn that name. Chantel Grin Grinsberg, Dylan Hein, Frannick. I don't know if that's supposed to say Frank or Frannick. Uh, Jillian Passe, Jeremy Joiner, Karen Mize, Natalie Rogers, Paul Ferguson, Rachel Smith, Reese, and Hellher. Tammy Peterson, let's give it up to all those people who purchased their course. Great work, friends. Hey, the great thing about purchasing your course and being on the first slide of recognition is now you're going to get onto the, the rest of these slides. And I know that we are going to fill up these next slides for next week. This is going to be a fully packed, a fully packed uh, recognition. Past ethics compliance test, Andrew Aikman, Anit um, Dejer, Carla, Carla again, Lumerdang, Carly, Carly, Car Carol, Carly Marac, Gregory Dunbury, Jaylene Ferreira, Miranda Dillabo, Cheryl Berube, Stefan uh, Pomp Puleski. All right, fantastic. Great new people, great new agents, great work on your compliance testing. This is the slide, friends, I was talking about. This is going to be filled up next week. All these people that purchased their course, we cannot wait to see your name on this next one of all the certifications passed. Let's give it up on the ethics for passing ethics, Amber Ray Ains. Amber Ray Ains, great work there, friends. All right, all certifications passed. So this is, this is the whole entire licensing course, the whole HLLQP, all certifications passed. We got Charlene Demel. Jacqueline Bennett Dixon, Monica Samrith, and Boma Eric Eric Osima. Eric Osima. All right, awesome. Let's give it up. All certifications passed. Big round of applause. Challenging me on some names today. I love it. Thank you for that, friends. I love to see all these new people, these new agents, these new champions growing yourselves, getting licensed to go out there and help families. Book their provincials. Let's give it up. A big Zoom round of applause for Mark Godin. Carly, Carol, Andrew, and Andrew Aikman. All right, let's give it up to everyone there. Great work on passing your provincial friends. You guys are literally inches away, inches away from never studying again, never doing licensing paperwork. It's done. And now I want everyone to think, everyone here, actually, let's go through. Yeah, let's give it up also for licenses live to, to Leslie Salito from the Bradford Bay Shop. Leslie is all done. And so Leslie now is just going to be focused on learning, developing, building her team, and helping lots of families. So everyone previous to this slide, if your name was mentioned over here, I want you to know that once you're past your licensing, think about all the time, all the time that you've already invested into your licensing, all these people, all these amazing names, all these amazing men and women on here, you're now going to be done your licensing. And all of that time you put into your licensing is now gonna be directed to building your business, building your team, helping families, making money, having lots of fun. And so just to, to sell yourself on that vision, it's gonna be so great when you never have to study again and your license is in hand. So great work to Leslie and to great work to everyone through the licensing. All right, fast start bonus. Let's give it up for Nicole DuPont, 
Achieve their fast start bonus. Great work. That's she's from the, the Bradford Bay shop. And guys, we're giving out free money. We're giving out free $500 bills, right? We're, we created a new $500 bill just for the fast start bonus, just for you guys. <laughs> uh, just kidding. But it will be, it will be uh, $500 that you're getting for just doing what we're supposed to do and getting our licensing pass. If you don't know what the fast start bonus is, make sure you talk to your trainer. Make sure you talk to your SMD. We've got some great news. We got some great news. Jessa Regeer, Ashley Holmstrom, and Brittany Compton are hosting not their first, but their second, their second open house in Saskatoon on June 17th. All these incredible people from the from the Sierra Fisher Bay shop. I know they had an amazingly successful event here. I think it was last month or the month before. And they're just doing some big things in person, making things happen out in Saskatoon. Great work to those champions as well, too. We got a big milestone here coming up, friends. We got a big milestone. If you were on Dynasty Live the other day, you would have heard about this. And, and people come, listen, people come into the business from time to time and they start to set a new pace. They start to set some new records. They start to raise the bar, so to speak. It's the Roger Bannister effect. And really, essentially, what the Roger Bannister effect was years and years ago is no one ever ran a four minute mile. And Roger Sir Bannister came in and he's like, I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to be the first one. And he did that decades ago. And now there's been thousands of people who have ran a four minute mile. And so this person, Mr. Nick Gamel, has earned his first $100,000 in eight months in business being licensed. Eight months being licensed, he has earned $100,000, six figures from going out there and helping people helping families, helping businesses get into an incredible financial position, tax sheltering money, giving them an opportunity to have financial peace of mind and security for the rest of their life, for all the work that Nikki's been doing for people and families. Just by him picking up the phone and inviting people out to sit down and to learn a little bit more, he is literally creating a ripple effect in their life that is also creating a ripple effect in his life for his kid's life and it's going to be for future generations. So, hey, let's give it up for Nicholas. Gamel, great work, Nick. We're super proud of you, man. Can't wait to see who you continue to become and what you produce. Great work, Nick. All right, friends. For everyone that was in the licensing, was in the licensing, we have an incredible opportunity to be able to learn from a private tutor that uh, is specialized. He literally does this for a living, basically every single day. He's out there helping people pass the course. How to, how to think better to pass the course. Tips and tricks and strategies how to pass the course. If you want to pass the course, be on this training. Do whatever you need to do to be able to free this up, to be able to learn some wisdom and apply it so you never have to be studying again. There's an incredible opportunity um, to be able to get your licensing done fast. we got people who, who, who have barely studied. They pop onto some of these modules and then they write the certification that evening and they pass. So if you're on here, register up. Let's get you passed out. All right. Coming up, we have an incredible associate promotion, a new associate promotion in the team. Uh, and this person is also our rising star. We're going to have him speak for a few minutes here. I was chatting. Uh, I was chatting with, uh, with, with the leadership about this gentleman. And I feel like I didn't even really need to chat with Adam and Savannah about this gentleman because I see his name everywhere. We have an SMD chat and we share good news. We talk about what's going well. We talk about who's who's doing really well in business. We talk about who's making things happen. We talk about who has a positive attitude. We talk about who is doing other things, raising the bar, getting after it, and getting out there and doing what we do best, staying aligned with our mission and our vision. And this gentleman, Mr. Troy Jewell, has received and has been promoted to associate as of, I believe, this week. So let's give it up to Mr. Troy Jewell. This guy has done well over 10 field training appointments. He's incredibly committed, a super friendly guy. And like I said, I always see him doing big things in our SMD chat and our senior broker chat. He's just an amazing guy overall. And I can't wait to meet Troy more and more. So Troy, if you could pop on for, for a couple minutes and just tell us um, what you're doing, why you're excited, and maybe your next big goal. Let's give it up for Troy. Thanks, guys. Um, so I was having a hard time deciding what I was going to talk about. So um, I have a hard time doing this, but I'm going to talk about myself here. So 
Uh, I'm kind of want to start where um, going back to last year where uh, I was in Vegas, actually in Nevada, in the desert of Nevada, and I was hiking around there. And um, I put on like 80 kilometers on my feet in like three or four days. Uh, one day I got lost. One day I ran out of water. Uh, another day I just got hijacked or carjacked, I should say. Uh, true story. And uh, about 18 months before that, I could barely walk around the block. And so I made some really big changes in my life, um, health-wise and mental-wise, mental mentality, and, and also uh, uh, spirituality in that. And But there was still one thing missing, and that was uh, what I was doing to earn an income. And I was working, still working nine to five right now. Um, but I wanted to spend more time with, uh, you know, the ones that I love the most. And, uh, you know, I have just enough fingers to uh, recognize all my kids. And I have four of them. I'm, I'm not com that competitive that I want another one, just so you guys know. Um, but can I see, does anybody know who uh, Michael Block is? Michael Block, golfer. He's like the most famous athlete in the world right now. Um, so what, he's, what I really like about him is that uh, he's very, very humble. And uh, he always gives accolades to the people around him. And I see that in the leadership group within this in this corporation or this organization and I really really appreciate that and you know like Angela and Diane and Sierra and Kyler and uh, Reese and Adam Sabana all you guys and whoever else I missed you know uh, actually Nagemo right that's a, that's a true leader and I'm so happy that I get to follow you guys and uh, you know ride coattails so um, yeah I just uh, I enjoy working with Adam and Savannah and actually all of you guys. Uh, there's just a wealth of knowledge and um, yeah, I'm, I'm loving it. So, uh, you know, they said to make a splash, but I, I want to be, I want to be more of an avalanche really, but we'll see how that goes. So. All right, good stuff. Thank you, Troy. Appreciate you popping on my friends. One thing I will mention uh, everyone about that is so Troy, Troy just mentioned what did he say? He said, I, I'm going to talk, I'm going to talk about myself here for, for a few minutes. And I don't, I, I think he might've said one or two things, but, but he just started talking about other people. He was talking about, he was talking about how Adam and Savannah have helped him. He was talking about the leadership. He was talking about being humble. He was talking about how this organization gives back to other people. And so that just tells me how humble Troy actually is. He said he was going to, you know, chat a little bit more about, about, about himself, but he just gave the credit to other people. He's talking about what he's enjoying, what he's learning, who he's been working with, and the incredible experience that he's had with the business. So that just tells me, Troy, you're an incredibly humble man. You have a lot happening in your business. I can't wait to see you fire your boss and come full time here as well, too. What I can tell is that you have an incredibly calm confidence about you. You have a calm confidence as well too. So thanks for sharing. Let's give it up for Troy one last time, friends. Big Zoom round of applause. All right, good stuff. Moving on. License this month. If you were in BC, I hope you renewed your license last month in May. If not, you might have some things to do right now. So, hey, make sure you, if you're in Alberta, renew your license. Make sure to send your updated licensing to these emails as well, too. Um, if you need some extra CE courses, take a, take a photo of this, friends. Maybe someone can take a photo and put it in the WhatsApp. There's essentially just a few, uh, a few websites here that you can go get some extra CE courses. Very, very important. Do not wait till the last minute for this. The people that wait till the end are the ones that get audited. I'll tell you from experience, it's not fun. Get audited. You got to send in all your courses. Da, 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 da. Just get it done early and uh, squared away. Okay. Let's get into some recognition. So, for everyone that's new, we got four contract levels. We have a training associate, an associate, a marketing director, and a senior marketing director. And we recognize building your business here. We recognize helping families. And so, let's get into it. Let's recognize our top training associates. Uh, in number five, we got Mr. Tyson. Nelson with two, Jamie Dick with two, Stefan Pompulevsky, uh, Pomp Pompulevsky, all right. Number two with two, Sylvie Winnie, and number one, Troy Jewell, we just heard from him. That's why he got his associate promotion, making things happen. Great work to the training associates on expanding your business. 
In terms of production, so helping clients, helping families, and number seven, we got uh, Zenon Parchowski, uh, Robert D. Lelis, Jillian Crawley, Jacob Royston, Melissa Dufresne, and in number two, Richard Schultz with 3168. And number one, we have Claire Bra Brazu. Brazil, Brazil, with 3,666 points. Great work to all our training associates. These guys are on their way to becoming associates here soon. All right, next up, we have top associates. Top associates, number eight, Angela Flynn with two, Stacey Veld with two, Caitlin Valley with two, Jessa Regeer with two, Stephanie Sturp with two. We got Heidi Shank with three, second spot, Shannon Simpson with three, and I guess tied for first, we got Barry Polyuk and Shannon Simpson and Heidi Shank all with three. They'd be tied for number one. Great work, associates, on uh, recruiting and building your business. In terms of production, number 10, we got Robin Arndt. Number nine, Alana Kowalchuk, Shannon Simpson, Tammy Hughesby, Stephanie Stirrup, Tanya Hogan, Jessica Ludgate. And number three, we got Stacey Bell, the 4747. We got number two, my ultra marathon friend. Uh, Candice, I always she, I, I, this is funny. Candice Mod, Modsley, Modsley. I, Candice and I have a funny inside joke about her last name. Anyway, Candice, great work. 7,959 points. Number one, Heidi Shank with 15,426 points. Great work, uh, Heidi with number one. We got a bunch of people coming, coming behind you. So don't get too comfortable. Great work to our associates on the production side of things. Moving on to our marketing directors. In eight spot, we got Nicholas Gimel with three, Stevie Leapart with three, Julie Zerley with three. In fifth spot, we got Christopher and Deborah Harrop. We got Melissa Cadden. Number three, Diane Dupuy. Number two, Brittany Dewing. And number one, Mr. Shams Atroon. Oh, actually, sorry. Sorry, friends. I should have been looking at this. We have this. We have this. This should be number one. This guy's number one. And this is number one. We got three number one spots, all tied with five. Shams, Brittany, and Diane. Great work to you, champions, for hitting five in your marketing director base shops. That is a big deal hitting that as well, too. All right. Moving on to marketing director production. Marketing director production in number 10, we got Mike Tonehauser, uh, Nicole Rogers, Melissa Cadden, Matthew Weisbach, Chantel Erickson. In number five, Brittany Dewing with 14,265. Number four, Victoria Banks with 15,431. Julia Dennis with 15,819. Diane Dupuy, 22,774. And number one, Kimberly Delu, brand new marketing director, 35,502 points. Absolutely crushing it. Great work to our marketing directors on the production side of things. This is lots of families help, lots of businesses, you know, maximizing their financial life. Lots of people uh, out there doing big things, helping lots of people. Great work to our marketing directors. Moving on to our senior marketing directors. We have in fifth spot, Sierra Fisher with six, Reese Hurley with eight, Angela Bradford hidden double digit recruiting with 11, uh, Paige Grant with 14, and Mr. Adam and Savannah Daw with 20 base recruits in their team, growing, expanding, teaching, and equipping. Great work to our senior broker teams. In terms of production, number nine, we got Kevin Whitehead, uh, number eight, Kevin Rogers. Number seven, Tyler Castucci. Number six, Reese Hurley. Number five, Sierra Fisher with 32,916. Over 30,000 points to crack top five. Paige Grant with 36,000. Amber McLean, 42,344. We got Angela Bradford with 18,940. And Mr. Uh, Adam Daw and Savannah Daw, 82,182. I imagine that this number might be 48,000, maybe 58,000, 68. I don't know. Angela can post in the chat there. I imagine that's a typo, but great work. 78,000. 78,000. 78, Holy Toledo. 78,000. Great work to the Bradford team. I wanted to give some recognition where recognition is due. Great work to that team as well, too. All right. Moving on, friends, we want to recognize some pay cycles. If you're new here, I want to let you know that you don't need to only get paid once a month. You don't only need to get paid 
twice a month. Most people get paid twice a month in their jobs. Some people might get paid weekly. I want to tell you here, you can get paid bi-weekly, two times per week. Every Wednesday, every Friday, we will deposit money in your bank account for you getting out there, sitting down with people and families, teaching them about money and finance, helping them maximize their financial life, building them a strong financial foundation. You can get paid eight or nine times per month by going out there and helping transform people's lives. And so let's give it up. People that got paid out of seven of nine cycles in May, Brittany Dewing, Chris Harrop, Kyler Castucci, Nicholas Gamel, Nicole Rogers, Stevie Leapart, eight out of nine, Kevin Rogers, and nine out of nine every Wednesday, every Friday in the month of May, Adam Daw, Angela Bradford, Sarah Fisher, and Paige Grant. Let's give it up for those people and their teams because we all know we work together as well, too, to go out there and make a difference. Great work, everyone. This is exciting. If you're not on this list, my hope for you is you have a commitment to get on this list for June. Let's make it happen. Let's get out there, help lots of families. Some upcoming events, friends. Upcoming events. Dynasty Live is Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, 9.15 Mountain Standard Time a.m. We have some of the best training, some of the best uh, product providers, some of the best leaders, the best brokers coming on here every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, teaching us how to grow our business. If you can pop on those, awesome. If you can put an earbud in at work, awesome. If you, uh, whatever you need to do, awesome. If you can make those, they're great. Uh, expansion campaigns are Tuesdays and Thursdays. There's, uh, if you want to screenshot that, that's just another opportunity uh, for us to be able to, to leverage some of the top brokers in Canada to grow your business for you. You could have 10 people on, a, on a, an expansion campaign and you could be out with your family. You could, have, you could have 10 people on an expansion campaign and someone's helping grow your business, get the word out about what we're doing while you're out there, you know, doing a meeting, right? So this is just about collapsing timeframes. I highly recommend use the expansion campaigns. There's also a general BPM Saturday mornings as well too. Also on Saturdays, every Saturday, we got DLD Financial University. And uh, this is all about financial training, business training, doing all the good stuff um, that we have every Saturday morning before regular training. Uh, this here, big mission, big vision. Like I talked about, domination, leadership, development. We do things big. We do things with a strong intention behind it. Right? We're not just going out there to just build a business. We're going out there to build a business to help us, to help others, and to make a big difference out there for people and families. And so we, uh, as the, the Domination Leadership Organization led by Adam and Savannah Daw, is that we are donating money directly to Make-A-Wish Foundation Canada. We're focused on donating 10 wishes, 10 wishes in 2023 to help Canadian children who are struggling with different life-threatening illnesses and giving them uh, some of their dreams, right, in a, in a tough time for them and their families. It's just so amazing what we can do in business, friends, to being able to change your life forever, but then also being able to create a ripple effect and create a contribution, create some, uh, you know, advantageous opportunities for other people to live their dreams. The Bible says it's more blessed to give than it is to receive. And so we're big on this. You're a part of something special here. If you're new to this organization, you are part of something special. All right, moving on. Mr. Reese Hurley, the man, the myth, the legend. This gentleman has got some incredible presentations, some incredible Canva uh, posters. He's just the man with, the, uh, with a great creative mind, which I love. I love seeing Reese's stuff. I love seeing his family of the weeks. This guy is not only helping lots of clients, but he's building a team that goes out there and helps a ton of clients. And so he's been mastering uh, the business here over the last few years, becoming a good friend uh, together. And so let's give it up for Mr. Reese Hurley. Oh, Kyler Bruce Buffer Castucci, a man of many talents. I love it. I appreciate the introduction. It's uh, it's always a blessing to share family week. I threw it back um, old school today. I, uh, I, this is probably one of my favorite family of the week, which ties into one of my favorite, absolute favorite, uh, what would you call it? Topics, which is recruiting and how that is our number one product. But Hey, let's get into things here, friends. Everyone can hear me. All right. This recognition is fun. 
All right, cool. So our clients were um, dealing with the traditional financial institutions. They one one worked in the oil field. Another one worked had a pretty pretty lucrative career at one of the local colleges, um, but they had a mortgage. Like probably most of your friends and family have mortgages. They owed about three hundred seventy-two thousand dollars, and they were paying a two point six four percent interest rate at about two thousand dollars a month. They also had a credit card. They owed seven grand on at nineteen percent. They were trying to drop about a thousand dollars a month on, and it was like something they used to pay for gas and groceries. They had a line of credit, twenty thousand dollars at four percent. They're only dumping a hundred bucks into, and then a private loan. At five and a half percent, they're dumping 810 was their minimum payment. They also already had some life insurance. They knew the value of it, but they got it back when they were like first newly married, got their first house quite a few years prior. And uh, they had it through one of our favorite companies to compare insurance products against. And it rhymes with Dime America. Um, but they had the value. They had the value in life insurance at about one hundred thirty thousand dollars. Their current advisor had never followed up as they had a more expensive cost of living. They had kids. Their guy had never followed up and and explained the importance of increasing their insurance. They had this on a term eighty, um, and it was renewing every ten or fifteen years, if I remember correctly. They had some investments, also sitting at a bank in a medium balanced risk portfolio. 92 grand doing 5% in an RSP and about 11 grand in a TFSA doing 4%. So total monthly contributions they had at that point in time going into, you know, their financial situation was about $3,910. Not a lot, probably pretty average. Most, most families in your phone right now, on your top 10 list, on your social media, this is a very house next door type family. After we sat down with them, we used the equity in their mortgage to eat up a bunch of the high interest debt. It only added about $30,000 onto their mortgage, but we were able to loan that money at 1.79%, dropping their mortgage payment with the extra $30,000 from 2000 down to 1588. Um, they, they didn't have enough equity to eat up the line of credit, plus it was only at 4%. Um, so we use those savings to pay off the line of credit. Um, so their new total went from $3,900 a month to now they're paying about $1,680 a month in monthly payments. So we saved this family $2,222 a month in cash flow, which I think is cool because we got paid very well to do this stuff. Then we had the insurance, right? So the insurance was... Um, four hundred fifty thousand dollars in debt. Oh, I I actually have the company on here. Uh, they had four hundred fifty thousand dollars in debt. They only had one hundred thirty thousand dollars in insurance. Um, they were paying ninety eight dollars a month for that. I quoted them a new term twenty for seven hundred fifty thousand, literally five times the coverage, at one hundred twenty five dollars. So we were going to give them five times the coverage for an extra twenty seven dollars a month, all the way up till ten years past retirement. The client wanted to learn more about permanent insurance. That was the route we decided to go. Um, so the wife was about $200 a month into a universal life that was obviously layered permanent and term. And the husband was also $200 a month into a similar policy, which, you know, hey, they're spending $400, but we saved them $2,200. They're still up $1,800 a month, which, which is great news. Um, their investments, like I mentioned, at the bank, people go in, in and out of banks every day. Their RSP, if it kept averaging 5%, where it's currently at, by the time this couple was 55, their best case scenario for retirement, it would only be worth about 162 grand. Worst case scenario was 65, it'd be $320,000. Their TFSA growing at 4%, $11,000. By age 55 would be about 14 grand. And by age 65 would be about $21,000. I did an investor profile with them. At the time, over a 30-year spread, my growth portfolio had averaged about 14% over 30 years. Now, this isn't a guarantee. I never said, hey, we're going to do 14%. I actually illustrated them the numbers if it only does 10%. So if the, if the growth portfolio only averages 10%, 
by the age of 55, they'd have about $222,000. By the age of 65, $656,000. Um, TFSA, 21,000 by 55, 55,000 by 65. So the client walked away saving $2,200 a month in cash flow, five times the insurance coverage worth permanent portions, and an extra $370,000 in their retirement plan without contributing any extra money, which we had savings to also recontribute. Um, so the, the client's really the real winner here. It's a no brainer. They're walking away with tons of cash flow, way better protection, way better investments. But from an advisor standpoint, this also generated about 11,425 points, which for anyone who's new, that means dollars paid to World Financial Group. And so if you were a brand new training associate, you just got started in business and you're getting in the field with your field trainer tomorrow, and you helped a client in the same way. And at 26%, with half the points, you make $1,485 just sit there. I used to make $110 an hour in the oil field. I, I would have to work 12 hours to make that kind of money. You did this in about an hour and a half, two hours with a client, which I think is pretty good money. Um, as an associate, writing this business independently, you would make about $4,100 which is obviously crazy. That's what some most people make in a month. You do this with one client making a major difference. As a junior broker, a marketing director, you make 51% commission, you do about $5,800 commission. And as a senior marketing director, you would make $7,500 for an hour or two of your time to help this family in an incredible way. Um, but, in this situation, the clients bought our most life-changing product as well. And anyone who is just on my class knows I talk about my personal client situation and how the business has changed my life. So this slide is old. I haven't updated it. It's off my old laptop. I got it like literally two minutes before I had to present. So uh, it's not updated, but the agent is licensed. The agent's hit net license. The agent's been to Vegas. He's been to Banff. This agent is on track for their junior broker promotion and $100,000 this year. And so at the end of the day, I mean, what we're able to do on the client side is so incredible. And it's so incredible that people want to offer it to their friends and family and build, build a business helping others. So that's my client example. It's, um, it's incredible what we do for people, but it's even more incredible when they get to change their lives in the aftermath. Thanks for the time. All right, great work, Mr. Reese. And that was awesome. You know, I took a couple notes. It's crazy just to, you know, I've been around this business now for eight years, maybe nine years. I don't even know how long it's been, but it's it's phenomenal to see over and over again. Consistently, we are always beating other companies. We're always putting better plans in place. We're always adding value. We're always able to compare and to help them evolve and to grow in their financial life, right? Saved over $2,200 a month. Put that back into some insurance. Five times the amount of coverage. They ended up doing the permanent coverage. Just crazy the things that we get to do. And then helps inspire those people to like, hey, if Reese can do this for me, can I go do this for other people? If Reese can do this for me, can I go do this for other people? One of my favorite types of, of teammates are, are people that were first clients because they just firmly believe in what we do. They've seen it happen. And so this is a great opportunity for every single person here to go and reach out to every single one of your clients and talk to them about the business. If you've already talked to them, bring it up again. Hey, by the way, I know the timing wasn't right when we first got together. I'm just curious. Hey, does it make sense for us to sit down and take, a, take another look at this or whatever, whatever it might be? Ask your SMD for a great script to use that. Great work, Reese. Thank you for sharing. All right, moving on. We have some more recognition for two of my favorite people in the entire world, Miss Angela Bradford and Paige Grant. These two uh, were just, just announced that they qualified um, for a Top Gun event. I think it's in Banff or Lake Louise. It was a couple of the, the absolute biggest brokerages in the entire company. And so they're going down to get some incredible leadership training, hang out with some of the biggest mind the biggest businesses and the biggest leaders, not even just in, in, in WFG, but these are some of the biggest leaders in the entire financial world. 
right? Some of these people have businesses that are bigger than actual companies. And so they get to go hang out. They get to learn. They're becoming some of those big giants. So great work to Angela and Paige. Great work to anyone that's in Angela's team or in Paige's team as well, too. Congratulations to them. Vegas is coming up. We got some extra tickets that are still available, overflow seats. We've got some people selling live seats, whatever it might be out there. There's lots of opportunities to be able to get yourself to Vegas. I'm not going to talk about this too much just in terms of time, but this is going to be a life-changing, transformative event. If you've enjoyed the last couple hours of training, the, the, the Vegas events are 100 times the amount of value, the energy, the excitement, the stories, the whys, the equipping. Everything you need to know is going to be taught and learned in Vegas to go completely create your dream life on purpose and with purpose as well, too. While we're down in Vegas, we're doing Dynasty Night Out. Uh, we do things big. We do things fun. And uh, we got an incredible opportunity to go out there and have a lot of fun at the Moon and View Room at the Palms. Uh, we got a bunch of our March qualifiers here. We got our April qualifiers as well, too. I know we're already announced. So I won't go through the names. And shortly, I believe we're going to have our May qualifiers. So um, great work to all those champions. Uh, also, we got the Caribbean Carews. Um, We're coming down to one, two, and two months and three quarters left to qualify for the cruise. And this is hosted by Adam and Savannah. They've put a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of thought, a lot of everything into planning this for us to go in and enjoy a world-class once in a lifetime trip on this cruise together take a photo of this as well too there's still some time you just never know you just never know i think the Dabe shop submitted over 200,000 points last month people doing 50,000 point plans 70,000 point plans 25,000 point plans you just never know who you'll come across. If you have the mentality that you can go out and help lots of people and things will just be attracted into your life by that belief, hey, we can get you on there uh, as well too. So lots of great people working towards this. If you see your SMD, if you see someone that you're working with directly on this Caribbean cruise, hey, this is, this is gonna be a team effort. This is gonna be us pulling together, us making it happen and us helping uh, people qualify as well too great work to that we got our personal categories as well nicholas is qualified i uh i will be qualified this month or, or shortly shortly here and after angela's super close to qualifying amber daisy sierra mike julia diane melissa all with opportunities even if your name's not on this list you have the opportunity to come out as well too so great work to all these champions um we got mr nick uh we, we've uh we've talked about in his beautiful pool there a few times so great work to nick um, if you don't know, uh, the Elevate Skills Masterclass, we got a whole bunch of champions already registered for this. There's only a few spots left. We, we, we invested a few hours, the leadership team on Monday to plan this. This is going to be world class. This is everything that you need to know to close, close business, close helping clients, close, uh, you know, helping people build less, helping people get in the field, closing on everything closing equals helping and if you want to be a closer if you want to build it big this is your opportunity to get here to learn from the best have lots of fun we're going to have a lot of fun there's going to be a lot of laughs it's going to be a great weekend talk to your trainer as well too all right wrapping things up friends i get the opportunity to close us out this evening i get the opportunity to chat a little bit more about uh, about a mentality that i've cultivated over the years outside of business, outside of business. And so I was asked today to chat about the mentality that it takes to finish an Ironman. Now, who knows what an Ironman is? Anyone who can post in the chat, what, what is an Ironman? This, this will be great to see. I want to see. Uh, Kyler Castucci is an Ironman. I'd like to just, <laughs> Kyler is an Ironman. He is an Ironman. My, uh, my Siri just went off with that. She got excited. I love it. Thank you for that, Adam. Appreciate that. What do we got in here? We got, it's a race, insane race. Um, awesome. Couple, couple of runs, run, swim, bike. It's great. That's essentially what it is. An Ironman, friends, a full Ironman is a four kilometer swim. It's a 180 kilometer bike ride. And then you run a marathon 42.2 kilometers afterwards. That's an Ironman. I have an Ironman in August. I just had the opportunity to finish an Ironman in Victoria, a half Ironman um, last Sunday. And so I'm just gonna talk a little bit about the mentality. And so before I get into that, I just want you guys to know, like 
life, life is hard sometimes, right? Can we all agree life is hard sometimes? You know, building our business may be hard sometimes. You know, success is hard sometimes. And here's the thing is sometimes it's not, not about what we've done and it's more about what we've overcome in business, right? We all go through hard times. The mentality be doing, behind doing these crazy endurance events for me is intentionally putting myself in hard situations so when life is hard outside of these events, I have the mental capacity to deal with them, the tenacity, the resilience to deal with life, right? There's the things, and there's two types of hard in life. There's chosen hard and there's unchosen hard. There's chosen suffering and unchosen suffering. Essentially, what that means is things just happen. Things happen in life. We go through hard things that are unexpected, right? And to deal with unexpected hard things, if we put ourselves in hard situations up front, we force ourselves to develop the mentality to get through the unchosen hard things. Does that make sense? Right? We are not defined by our circumstances. We're not defined by what does or does not happen to us. We are defined by how we choose to react to those circumstances. That's what mental toughness is all about. That's where it comes in. That's where character is built. Here's the thing. Thoughts, thoughts are the currency in which you purchase your dreams. Thoughts are the currency in which you purchase your dreams. That's my quote, by the way. Just kidding. That's from an Ed My Lab podcast a couple of days ago. Thoughts are the currency in which you purchase your dreams, right? Here's the thing is if you begin to change the way you think, you will literally change your life. Most people only live in the physical world. They're reactive to what is happening around them. They don't control their thoughts. Their thoughts control them. Here's the thing is we can be deeply involved with our emotions, yet not control controlled by them. We can be deeply in touch with our emotions, yet not be controlled by them. And so do we need to get uncomfortable in business? Yes or no? Yes? Yes. Right? Do we need to be mentally tough in business? Yeah, of course. Right? And so I'm not going to spend any time talking about why we need to be mentally tough. That's just the, the journey of entrepreneurship. And so I want to talk about just a strategy to use to train your brain to think in a way that benefits us. It's developing an endurance mentality. You know, I, I, you know, I'm doing Ironmans this year. A couple of years ago, I was doing ultra marathons last year and the year before. And I just started two, three, I just started three years ago. Never knew how to run, hated running, could only run a block. And so an ultra marathon is anywhere, anything after 50 kilometers. Some of them are hundred, some of them are 200, 500, they're crazy. And I love these endurance sports because it's taught me mental toughness and the mindset that we can apply together in business. And so I started running in 2020, COVID, no training, signed up for an ultra marathon after a couple months. I never thought that I would come close to finishing, but I wanted to join the race to see how far I could go. I just wanted to make a decision that I wasn't going to quit until I couldn't go anymore. I made the decision. I wasn't going to quit until I couldn't go anymore. I ran a few kilometers and I'm like, mm, I feel pretty good. I ran a couple more. And then all of a sudden I was at 20. All of a sudden I was at 30. And then I was at 40. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? And what I learned is when you decide you're not going to quit, when your mind makes a true decision, you're not going to quit. Your body will adapt. Your spirit will adapt in front of you. I ended up doing 67 kilometers that day running. And that one day changed the game for me. And that 12 hours changed my life. It forever changed my life knowing that us as human beings are capable of anything that we put our minds to. It has nothing to do with who we are now and everything to do with who we want to become in the future. It has nothing to do with who we are now and everything to do with who we want to become in the future. No, you do not need to run an ultra marathon or do an Ironman with me to win in WFG, but you can if you want, by the way, okay? You can if you want, but hey, you don't need to do that. You don't need to run, bike, or swim across any lakes or oceans. How do you finish an Ironman? How do you finish an ultra marathon? You just don't stop. You just keep going. You just keep freaking going. It's one movement at a time, one step at a time, one cycle at a time. It's the same thing in business. That's how we win in business. You don't stop. It's one prospect at a time, one meeting at a time, one rejection at a time, one call at a time, one breakthrough at a time. 
one event at a time, right? And so, like I said, when you decide that you don't quit, magic starts to happen. You don't stop when you're tired. You just, you stop when you're done. And here's the key in closing, our lives, friends, our lives are always moving in the direction of our strongest thought. Our lives are always moving in the direction of our strongest thoughts. What we think about shapes who we are. And the better that we can grasp that truth, the better equipped we'll be to change the trajectory of our life. Our lives are always moving in our strongest thoughts. We, we, what we think shapes who we are, shapes what that, what that is. And so the better that we can grasp that truth, the better equipped we will be to change the trajectory of our life. So the takeaway here is just every single person can do this business. You can do anything. You just decide that you don't quit and you just do one foot in front of the other, one day at a time, one call at a time. And remember, your thoughts are the currency in which you purchase your dreams. If you begin to change the way you think, you will literally change your life. And when it happens, man, it happens fast. So whatever it is, guys, if you're running, if you're swimming, if you're biking, if you're just doing WFG, if you're building a family, if you're doing another sport, whatever it is you're doing, it's just what the mentality is just one day at a time, one thing at a time. Just keep going, never quitting, right? Go out there and focus on stacking wins, winning, whatever winning may mean to you. For me, winning is less about being number one and it's more about the pursuit of focusing on being my best self and not giving up, right? Dreams don't happen by accident. Dreams happen because God put those on our hearts. They're a glimpse of what the future can look and to feel like, right? It's not about how many times you get rejected or how many times you fall or you fall on your bike in the intersection in Kelowna and everyone's looking and laughing at you. That was super fun. It's not how many times you fall and you get beaten up. It's how many times you can get, stand up and you get up and you're brave. And you just keep going one step at a time, one day at a time, one call at a time, one breakthrough at a time. And you just keep going. Right. And so, hey, I'm so proud to be part of this company. I'm proud to be part of this movement that makes a difference in people's lives. Thank you, friends, for the time. Love you. I appreciate you. And the DAW team is going to stay on this code. If you're on the DAW agency, you'll be on this code uh, as well, too. For everyone else, if you have your meetings, uh, pop on to your meetings. For everyone else, if you're as fired up as I am, maybe make, a, maybe make a phone call. Maybe send some text. Maybe do a little bit of business. That one more. That one more before you go to bed. So when you wake up, you're already ahead. So thank you, guys. Appreciate you. Have a great rest of your evening. Great message, Kyler. Thanks, buddy. <clears throat> everybody, hey, by the way, everybody, thank you for being here. We appreciate you for being here. We can see you. We recognize and appreciate you. So thanks for being here, everyone. Uh, just the DAW base. We're going to stick around here real quick. Um, we got a few awesome things to talk about, and then we're going to we're going to you know head out here for the night. Everybody have a everybody have a good day. By the way, you guys have a good day today. Man, it is. Uh, it is a good life. It is a good life. And I just want to, I just want to really, really quickly go through a few things, you guys. And let's go through and share this. I've got this up on my screen. And uh, if you take a look here, I just want to look at our, we have our associate and our training associate all-stars so far for the month. And as of right now, so everybody knows, as of right now, we have, you just scroll up here, currently... Now, this is for the month of May, but there's still one more. There's still one more. Now, as an associate or a trading associate, you want to get your name to the top of this list. All right. And if you're an MD, marketing directors, you want to look at this list and say, hey, how many of my people, how many of your people are on this list? Because when we all win, we all win together. Okay. So, but I'm just going to go through the top three right now. Overall, Alana Kowalczyk. So she was uh, top three. Shannon Simpson, great job. Number two, awesome with some points, some recruits, a little bit of everything. And then uh, Stacy Veld, number one overall, couple of recruits, about 5,000 points. Stacy, way to go. And I just want to remind everybody, if you can do it once, you can do it every month. You know, and if, and if you can do five, you can do 10, right? It's just, you know, you could just keep pushing and just doing more. Great job to those ladies. And then again, it's not over yet. <clears throat> We're going to go through the, the MD, you know, the MD category here. And, you know, you guys, we, we've been doing this for a while. And I listen, I'm, I'm proud of everybody. So as I go through these numbers, um, I'm proud of everybody. But I just want to share something. 
Um, I just want to share the power of, of consistency because this last month, you know, again, and I say this respectfully, but this last month wasn't even close. It wasn't even close. I mean, it was a landslide um, for Diane as the, now, now everybody else was pretty close. And, you know, we had some decent months. To be honest with you, there were some decent months for everybody, but but it really wasn't even close for Diane's team. And I just want to say she's been so consistent with accountability texts, staying in touch with me, um, yeah, just everything. She's just so consistent and you're starting to see it really add up. And consistency is the key. Again, proud of everybody. We had some great months last month. But uh, overall, so far, knocking it out of the park, really with a golf score of three, 22,000 points, five recruits, five certs passed, new license on the team. I mean, this girl is going to be SMD here in, in like a minute, you know, and, and she's only been here for a minute. But, you know, it, it's just so awesome to see hard work, a great attitude and consistency at a high level rewarded. So um, I'll go through these numbers quickly. We had Josh, then Mike, then Shams, then Matt, then Victoria, then Melissa, then Irene. And then again, number one was Diane. So I just wanted to quickly, again, I want to give everybody a round of applause because you guys, our, our marketing directors had like five of the top 10 spots, which is awesome. That's really good. Um, but I just wanted to just make a special mention you know, for, for Diane, because I know last month she said it was going to be her greatest month in life. And that inspired a lot of people and her consistency is adding up. And, and I told her this, I said, look, you keep being consistent. Don't worry about what other people are doing. Just stay consistent and it's going to add up. And we're starting to see that. So very, very excited. And I know, um, I know one of the things that that's driving her and, you know, is, is the idea that the next SMD on our team, the next SMD puts the whole organization up to EVC. And that's something that is a very special honor that will be remembered for every, um, you know, forever. And so I know that's a big driver for her. Uh, but I, I want to just as we wrap up the call, I'm going to have, you know, I want to have Diane actually just pop on and speak right now. But Diane, you know, can you just tell us a little bit about, I mean, one of the things that I'd like you to talk about is is how how you stay so fired up how you work so hard and how you stay so consistent at such a high level uh, all the time despite all the challenges that you have in your life because everybody has challenges and i think everybody on the call would love to know like is there things that you do specific in your routine um, are there, you know, are there, are there specific routines and rituals or the things you say to yourself? What, what do you do? You know, what is it that you do that, that you're operating on such a high level? And I'd, I'd actually love to hear from myself. So take it away and let us know, you know, what, what, what goes on in the mind of Diane Dupuy in a day. <laughs> are you sure you want to know? I do. <laughs> I really do. Give us the crazy, give us everything. Uh -huh. Um, well, quite honestly, like when I wake up, my first thoughts are fear, generally every single morning, I'm unsure of, you know, how I'm going to make this happen, how I'm going to get a paycheck, how I'm going to, you know, build this team, learn all the things. And then I just immediately switched that. And I've talked to a couple people this last week. I've been talking a lot about breaking the pattern. And that's what I've been really practicing a lot lately in the best month of my life, what I really got out of it was a whole lot of self-awareness. And I really found how often my mind even slipped into the negative because it's so easy to slip into the fear and lack state. And when you get there, if you break that pattern and redirect it instantly, you're training your brain, right? You're like rewiring your brain to go instantly to positive. So I've been doing like a little uh, snap my fingers or jump up and down or like a yell woohoo or something just to like break the pattern, redirect it. As soon as I start to feel worry, I break the pattern and then start thinking about something positive. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. I told Adam every single day in May, 
big things are coming, big things are coming. And I just keep saying it over and over in my head. And lo and behold, that's exactly what happened. And I just like proved my theory so right to myself that I'm even that much more excited because I'm like, wow, that wasn't even that hard. Literally, I just had to stay in a great mood. And when there was challenges this month, which there was a lot, it was super fun. I, I, instead of like, sure. I mean, it hit me a couple of times, but instead I, I got excited about it and I redirected it. I'm like, this is just an awesome opportunity to grow. This is a really great opportunity for me to uh, practice staying fired up through the hard challenges. And in doing that, I just got stronger and I was able to get stay more fired up. And it would always come in my head. I would be like, you told everybody you're having the best month of your life. <laughs> Are you really going to sit here and cry about this right now? Like you have your moment and then, and then think about how exciting this is because I wouldn't be getting these challenges if I wasn't leveling up. So how exciting is it? So in some sense, it's like, all right, here we go. Keep them coming. Cause I know that's just going to be another level up for me. So the, the awareness of just staying excited all the time, like doing what you said you're going to do. Number one, you go to bed feeling so much better and you're excited to go do it again. And then when you start seeing like the momentum build, then it's just like, it's like kind of getting addicting. I said to Adam, it just like something clicked and it's just so fun. And um, yeah, this afternoon, I had a little dance party in my kitchen. I was just making up songs about like, you know, being an SMD or whatever it is you want and just have fun with it. Yeah, that was a really good message, you guys. I just want to, I just want to highlight a few things. I mean, first of all, I love that, uh, you know, as she's going through that, as she's, as she's going through and talking about that, I mean, my, my thought is, wow, like, you know, I, I have a brain twin. You know, I have, I have a spiritual brain twin because I remember back, you know, in, in early in my career and we were, you know, you guys, we were so broke, you know, I, I had a hundred thousand dollars in debt. Like you imagine, can you think of how much pressure that having a hundred thousand dollars in debt, owing money and taxes to the government They're they're you know, they're garnishing our wages and um, just the financial pressure of that happening. But in my mind, in my mind, I wouldn't let it affect me. In my mind, I wouldn't let it affect me. You know, and I, and I could have went back to a job. I, I could have broke, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't let it happen. I said, there's no way this is happening. And I, this is what I would do. So this was my strategy. As soon as I felt a negative thought, and I want you guys to catch this. As soon as I felt a negative thought, I would instantly catch it. This is called awareness. I would catch it. You have to catch it. If you actually monitored your thoughts for a 24 hour period and we could just sort of read them on a script and feel what they felt like, I mean, that would be the truth of your life. So first thing is catch it. And then what I would do is I would close my eyes. I can still remember it. I'd close my eyes. I'd squeeze them tight so that it got really dark. You know, if you really squeeze your eyes tight, it goes dark. And I'd say black, 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 black. And the reason I was saying black was I was trying to black it out. So I'd catch it. Then I'd stop it. I'd stop it instantly. And then you would replace it. So I take the, I instantly, I started thinking about my debt. How am I going to pay my rent? Man, things are so tight that I'd be like, what, what, what? This is ridiculous. This is not going to make my life better. I would catch it, black, 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 stop it, replace it. So then I, all of a sudden I'm like, how awesome is it going to be when I make $100,000 a month? And I just shifted it to this incredible thought. I went from, from in my mind, stressing about, stressing about being $100,000 in debt to fired up about making $100,000 a month in a second. So then I would, I said, I would replace the thought. And then now this is key. Then you anchor it to action. So then I would immediately do something, immediately do something. I would get on the phone. I would prospect somebody. I would make a phone call. So what starts to happen when you do that? You start to catch your thoughts. Then you have less of these negative thoughts. And then you start to catch yourself before you even have that thought. It's habitual. But I'm telling you this right now. 
hey, if if you can if you can if you can think and operate and feel on the highest of levels in the hardest of times, man, you're good to go. <laughs> you're good to go because you become unstoppable. You become unstoppable. So I want to thank Diane for that awesome message. It got me all fired up because I start thinking, I love thinking about thoughts. You know, I'm always thinking about thoughts. I just love to sit there and think about thoughts and recreate higher ones and better ones. But I hope, I hope that while she was talking, you were all really taking in what she was talking about and thinking about, well, how does that apply to your life? Like tomorrow, are you going to go off and, and, and shoot to live your best day tomorrow at a higher level? And when you have a challenge, how are you going to let it affect you? Are you going to let it affect you? I hope you guys were really taking that in because that is gold. That is gold because your thoughts guarantee your future. They guarantee them. Really important stuff. Um, awesome, awesome job, everybody. I'm all fired up for the night. Listen, we appreciate you guys a lot. It was a huge month last month. We had over 20 recruits. The system isn't finished updating. We, we're going to do about 100,000 points, which is a ton of families being helped, a lot of people making money, um, but it's all in the past. Now we're in June. <laughs> May really doesn't matter anymore. The only thing that matters is what you do today and tomorrow. So I just want to encourage everybody to max it out. I want to remind you that I know it's hard. I want to remind you that I know it's worth it. It's just worth it. And, but the only way to win here is you got to go all in every day. That's how you're going to win here. So that's, uh, that's the beautiful journey. So I appreciate everybody. And I just want to remind everybody, um, you know, I always pay attention to who's here. You know, I see whose camera's on. I notice all of you, Trina, Eric, even though you're not on technically on the film, uh, Melissa, Irene, right. We got uh, Cass here as well. Vanessa, Diane, Eric, good to see you. Uh, Shannon, Shams, Troy, good to see all of you here. Really appreciate you guys. And uh, I mean, let's just keep going out and kicking ass and doing what we do. And I'll tell you, in a couple of years time, a couple of months and years time, you're going to look back and you're going to be so happy that you made this happen. You're just going to you're just going to live in a state of pure peace and happiness um, that you made this happen. So always reach out if you need help. We're always here to help. Let's keep going out and getting it, um, and let's go make it happen. Appreciate you all. Love you all, and uh, let's have a great night. Thanks, Diane, for an awesome message. Great to see everybody tonight, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody.